well done. You've decided to go aquaponics and you've gone and got yourself a second hand barrel. How do you clean it? There's a couple of things in here that I do that are a little bit different. And the reason I do it is because I have training <laughs> in aquaculture and we did a lot of recycled stuff because I was very interested in that. So I'm going to go through and walk you through all the steps that I learnt within my four years of study of aquaculture on how to clean things to make sure that it's safe for fish. In this case, this video is all about the barrel. All about the barrel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm putting videos up every couple of days, so make sure that you hit subscribe so you can get all of them. All right, so often when we've got building an aquaponic system, we're trying to do it as cheaply as possible so we can end up getting secondhand material. So this drum is secondhand, and I was told that it was clean and been cleaned out and pressure cleaned out. It, uh, it's not quite cleaned out. I have cut my hole, this is where I want my hole to be and I'm able to actually reach into all areas but we're going to just show you how lovely that is, how nice and clean that is. You see how it's, it smells? <laughs> so it's good to know what's been in your drum to start with and that smells like some type of soap, doesn't smell great but there is a positive to that, I can smell it and this is a key thing about when we're cleaning our drums we want to make sure that we can't smell anything at the end. So we're going to be going through and first rinsing all of this crap out. Then I'm going to be cleaning it with some bleach. And we'll notice, and I'm going to be very particular here, this is a lemon fragrance bleach. The reason I'm saying lemon, I don't care what, it doesn't matter what it smells like, but I want to make sure that by the end of my cleaning, I can't smell lemon. That's why I want it to be scented. If you have no scent bleach, you won't be able to identify whether or not you've gotten rid of it all. So by getting, making sure that we've got some type of smell associated with it, I should not be able to smell this lemon bleach at the end when we're done, nor should I be able to smell <laughs> what this smells like. We're going to be using some dechlorinator. So any aquarium shop, you'll be able to get any type of water ager or dechlorinator and that will get rid of the bleach towards the end. So first step is I'm wanting to rinse out some unscrewing the lids and the caps. We've got to make sure that we rinse and wash them out too. Don't do this anywhere near where you've got any other animal or aquarium. I want to try to get as much of that icky stuff out as possible. We're just going to take a bit shake 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 to get out. Lots of suds. So I want to keep rinsing this basically until we get rid of the suds and then we'll move on to the bleach. This is going to take a while, I have a feeling, this particular one. suds in there.
prepared, you're going to get wet. wet. And this is what I wanted to make sure that we're getting and this is where you don't wet your camera person. I don't like getting wet. That does not smell bad at all now. I can still smell traces, but it's all on the ground here. So I've got to make sure when I'm doing my final smelling that I move it away from here to be able to identify is that what I'm smelling? Because if I leave this and I try that smelling again, um, what I'll be able to smell is what's on the ground and obviously if it's something dangerous and corrosive, use your common sense people, seriously, don't use it. So I have a bucket that I use for this. I have one of my old aquarium rags. When you buy the aquarium rags, they don't have any, um, uh, <laughs> You know how sometimes you can get antibacterial wipes and things like that from the supermarket? Your aquarium rags don't have any of that on it. So this is, I'm going to go with half a cup roughly of bleach in the bucket. I could put it straight into the drum. But I like the frothiness, don't I? It helps me to see what's happening. So it's nice and frothy again. And this is where you want to be able to make sure that you get every part every little you know all the corners so even in the where we've got these oh my gosh words the holes the, the uh, screw on top lids we want to make sure that we wash them too but I'm going to do them on the outside I want to cover every single part of this with bleach and this is really good if you can work out how to do things in uh, a systematic way. This is like 15 years worth of a queen cleaning aquariums and keeping it all straight. Straight lines. Right up all areas. Oh, perfect timing. We're about to get a shower of rain too. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we move left hand, coming up, doing the sides. Try not to breathe in the bleach. And now the far side. And 
these are the caps. So I'm going to rinse them in here as well. And now we have the process. Getting all that out. They say cleaning is good for the soul. Say, but it can be a lot of hard work. One of the things I like about the bleach is that it will get rid of almost anything. And it tells me when I've cleaned everything. Shake, 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 shake your water drum. All right, I can still smell, I can still smell bleach and that's okay because we haven't finished yet. Now remember how I just said that I want to make sure that I'm not smelling what's on the ground? This is where we're about to move locations and use the air, the uh, water conditioner. That way we're, what we're doing and we're not going to be able to smell what we've just been cleaning. So let's pause this and move to another location. Okay, different location. And I can't smell stuff anywhere near as much. But I am aware I have everything on my hands. So you can feel the stickiness there. Alright. I have my water ager. And I'm going to put this straight into the drum in this case. Again, about a half a cup. It's not going to matter if you do more. You can also use sodium thiosulfate from a pool shop, but honestly we most have, if we've got an aquaponic system or aging the water, we often have the water aging. So, there's no smell to the water ager, water conditioner, same kind of thing. What I'm wanting to do is I'm also wanting to make sure that I'm doing all the nuts. Okay. Kneeling on gravel is never ideal. Going through. Making sure that we're covering all areas again. feeling so much better with the water ager. I wonder if it ages human's hand, human hands. All this towards me to make that a bit easier. Along these sides. Top. You want to make sure every area is covered. And you want to make sure that you've been doing outside as well. Because we had that bleach and everything like that on the outside. So, turn that around. Just going to cover the outside.
So the last thing that's been in here is the water ager. That's perfectly safe for our aquaponics fish. Just making sure the uh, drains at the end have been done too. We don't want to miss any part. So, I'm nice and wet by what we've been doing. We've been away from where the bleach smell was and where the, the smell was for what we emptied. I put water ager in as well. Hopefully, when I smell this now, it'll be nice and clean. Oh, I can't smell anything. Okay, I'm a bit weird because I stick my head right in. If you smell something, do not put your head in, people. Yes, I am being silly. But the reality is, if you smell something, don't put your head in there. Use your common sense from when we did high school science, people. You know, waft if you can sp you smell anything. No, I can't smell anything. I can't smell anything in there. If I could smell something, I would repeat that whole process again. I would rinse it out with bleach. Remember about half a cup of bleach? You tip it straight in there, should you choose. Rinse that out, thorough rinse out outside as well and then water conditioner water ager same thing both got sodium sodium theosulfate in it fully rinse it out and smell it don't try to smell it wherever you've emptied out your bleach and your whatever else was in it you'll get the wrong smell that is perfect for me oh i am nicely drenched don't you just love aquaponics and building stuff you get covered in crap oh that's a me thing i like that Alrighty. That is how to clean your recycled barrels.